So if you want to hear a really quick story about how I broke a federal law and committed a felony on a military installation in front of the base commander with his security staff and still walked off the base, hang around. I'm going to tell you the story. I was going about my day, minding my own damn business, and then we got a phone call in the office. Apparently, the local National Guard Center had something like 250 troops on station. There was something going on with like a presidential convoy coming through the area, and these troops were on standby for that. In any event, while this was all happening, and they've got 250 troops on station, their septic pump system went out, which means now they've got a whole bunch of soldiers that are shitting and nowhere for the shit to go. It just keeps backing up. Now, they called every other septic company that they could because at the time, we really weren't advertising that we were doing septic, but no other company in town could take care of them on such short notice. Why a company wouldn't put the National Guard Center above regular business, I have no idea, but nobody would take care of the National Guard Center. So, they eventually got given our name from two or three other septic companies. And they called us up and they said, hey, we've got this problem, the shit has nowhere to go, the pumps are broken, can you come fix this? And I said, sure, absolutely. So we rolled out both septic pump trucks and um, a key fact that I overlooked was the fact that I carry a sidearm. Um, and <laughs> apparently some president uh, made it a federal crime to carry a weapon on a military installation. So I didn't think about this. You know, I've got the obvious ones in my mind, like don't go to a school or don't walk into some banks or don't go to a post office, but military installation just was not on the top of my radar. So we roll in, there's several guns in the truck, there's a sidearm on me, two or three other employees have one, and um, we're pumping out the septic tank. And uh, whenever we're pretty much all done, it's time to go see the base commander about payment because he's the guy with the government purchase card that's gonna pay us. And so as I'm walking through the, the building that is, where the commander is at, uh, it dawns on me at that moment that perhaps, if memory serves, I am illegally carrying a firearm. And uh, so I walk into the commander's office. He extends a hand, you know, glad to have you here, all this other stuff. He clearly sees the sidearm. And I just decided to, you know, let's, let's face this thing right now. I said, hey, listen, I totally forgot that military installations were a no firearms uh, gun, gun free zone. Um, and I just wanted to say, I'm sorry, had that thought occurred to me, I would have left it at the office. To which he said the coolest thing ever. He said, yeah, I noticed that whenever you guys moved in. To be honest with you, having the shit moved out of here to where my soldiers can shit is far more important to me than a fucking gun-free zone at a military installation when all my guys have already been issued guns. He's like, you're not going to do any damage. There's 250 people here with weapons. You're not a threat. Fuck that law. And I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Because really, I was not looking forward to a federal weapons charge. In any event, guys, don't carry a gun on a military installation unless that installation gives you the gun. I got lucky. Uh, unless you're saving the day for a group of soldiers, you're probably not going to get lucky. In any event, have a great day. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.